going on LFA TV? This is your boy Luis and as always thanks for tuning in to another episode. Uh, really quick I just want to mention that this video is going to be more of a vlogging type of video. I'm not going to be working on anything specific in the car. I'm just going to tackle things that I see that need to be worked on. Um, but yeah, uh, vlog. <laughs> Let's get started. If you guys watched last video, uh, we had talked about the bad news about the front-facing intake manifold. Um, there was a specific idea that one of my buddies came up with. He said, basically said, instead of orienting, instead of having the uh, throttle body uh, like this, he said, why not? Oh, and by the way, this is my old throttle body off of the one that's over there. Um, so basically, he said, why not just have it? upside down like that he said what's so wrong about it running like this as far as uh, air goes it's not gonna matter if it's uh, left or right or you know up down or whatever it's gonna go into the throttle body or the intake manifold no matter what so this is a good idea I think um, this looks promising I am gonna try to do this uh, and just basically run it like that and I have my uh, throttle cable. I could still run it on the bottom side. And as a matter of fact, it would look a little bit more hidden. So that's a good idea. So I'm gonna get to work on that. Um, yep, I also gotta put in my uh, oil feed line for the turbo. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Cause uh, I've been slacking on doing that. Let's do that right now. So I got the old fitting off. Uh, one good thing I guess about changing stuff is that you kind of put away parts that you could save for other builds. So I got a stash here of uh, fittings and parts that I could use later on. But since the Borg Warner one's a little different, I basically got to put this one on when it comes to these things. Or you guys just tighten them up. That will go there, and then my new feed will just bolt up to that, and then we could get that rolling. Really quick, I was going to show you guys uh, when attempting to uh, put on the feed line for the turbo. Um, the fitting that goes in the engine ended up pretty much stripping kind of sucks these are aluminum so they kind of tend to do that sometimes and at the and the process is stripped uh, this piece also um, but luckily something that I didn't notice is uh, when I was taking it off previously I don't know if you guys could see right there but the line was pretty much uh, torn it's pretty much torn right there and I didn't want that to be a cause of a leak uh, luckily, I went, uh, there's a local place here in Arizona called uh, Hose Power USA, and they basically made me a new uh, oil feed line, and these fittings, uh, I was told that these new fittings are steel, not aluminum, so the chances of these stripping is a lot less likely to happen, and the line just kind of looks even better quality, so... Uh, 30 bucks, not bad, and to prevent it from stripping and having any oil leaks, I want to go ahead and did this, so I'm going to go ahead and put this on now. Last video, we were kind of bummed out because we thought that this thing was not going to work. Well, guess what? I didn't give in to failure, and I was kind of brought up to an idea of just pretty much rotating the throttle body onto the intake manifold, and that ended up working out perfect. Uh, one thing I did have to do is kind of re-tap and re-drill uh, specific holes for the throttle body to be rotated. But as you guys can see, this thing is fitting good now. I have a good amount of space uh, to be able to fit the coupler there. And another thing is that the wheel's on the bottom now, so that's the ugly part of the throttle body is kind of hidden now. And my throttle body cable's long enough that I could just run it to the bottom and to be able to mount it somehow um but this is good news see uh good news always follows uh bad news i like to think but uh yeah it actually looks a lot cleaner 
uh, one thing that I am gonna do, I think that I am gonna be doing is I'm gonna be doing the wrinkled black, wrinkled black on this, the same thing as my valve, my valve covers, and uh, yeah, it should stand out pretty nice, and the throttle body is gonna stay pretty much that polished uh, aluminum uh, to go with that black and polished look, I guess. But um, good news, guys. There you have it guys, there's a new line, there's no tears on this one so we're good to go on that. I'm just waiting for this to dry and give it a couple more coats so I could give it a good wrinkle. And we're gonna go ahead and begin to, I gotta figure out uh, a little mounting bracket so I can mount the throttle, throttle, uh, throttle cable, look how long this thing is. I got this thing off of, uh, I believe it was like a 90 Camry, 1990 Camry, which was <laughs> plenty long enough. Oh, uh, that's funny. All right, guys, so got the throttle body wrinkled black now. Uh, it looks a little shinier than the valve covers. That's just because the valve covers have seen some dirt and dust and stuff like that. So. Uh, later on that should kind of get the same color as that um, but here's the situation that I was uh, kind of working on right now um, the throttle body I did have it upside down so the sensor was on the upside uh, on top of it but the only problem was that with that was that um, when it came down to the throttle it was gonna spin the opposite way on the bottom side so it was very difficult to get the uh, throttle cable uh, to kind of work in the opposite direction so that just was not going to work without the pedal either getting stuck or just feeling very firm so i basically just flipped it upside down uh, once again it still kind of doesn't look too bad um i would have preferred the sensor on top but we got to work with uh whatever we got at this point um so now uh, i used to have an old bracket here that it kind of mounted to right here the cable um so i kind of got this figured out right here like that and basically, it's gonna pull that way. So the good thing about the manifold is that there's a little mounting point right here on the side. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get my old, uh, where is it? I'm gonna go ahead and get my old bracket and kinda cut it up and make, uh, make it work. I'm gonna try to figure out uh, a new way of mounting this. All right guys, there you have it. I got uh, the throttle, the throttle cable kind of mounted right there. Got the intake manifold um, pretty much uh, wrinkled a little bit. I might give it a few more coats just because uh, I didn't like how, I don't like how it looks kind of shiny. Um, I want it to look like the full f the full wrinkle effect, kind of like the valve covers. So um, I'm still gonna probably give it a couple more coats. Uh, but I got the throttle body also mounted, and this is the way that uh, I'm gonna have to run it. So you know, basically it'll work this way. And uh, I basically tested the pedal inside and everything's working good. So um, some progress today, guys. Some more to come in an upcoming week. But that's uh, pretty much it for this video, guys. Uh, we're trucking along. Didn't let the whole situation kind of put me down. And uh, your guys' inspiration as always helps out. So uh, more progress on the upcoming week. Um, got a few things coming in. And I am also going to be showing that... Um, I gotta get started on the fuel system, um, you know, running the lines and also take out my old fuel pump and uh, fuel filter and pretty much kind of work with that. So um, yeah guys, it's, it's getting exciting man. But uh, if you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. If you guys appreciate the video, like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It helps the channel a lot, uh, you know, to kind of get some recognition on the super community but uh, other than that guys that's that's pretty much it for this video on to the next one peace out